Head rim. Here we go, buddy. Uh, just got this sent back in the other day. These went down to a nice, reasonable price now. I remember the last case, I was selling them like 20 or 30 below cost. <laughs> now they're, to rebuy them, they're pretty, they're pretty reasonable. Not a bad buy right now. For Ant-Man, if you like the movie. What's up, Ellie Cat? Don, how you doing, man? 1 to 6 on the left, 7 to 12 on the right. Number 9 and number 8. Let's see what's left over here. Uh, 0, 2, 67, 14, 53, 15, 0, 8, blocked, 46, blocked, 81, 25, and 68. Those are the Ant-Man leftovers. Not much done. All friendly today, huh? Cisco, are you and your son sore? I heard when you get in a car wreck, I've never been in a really bad one, but I heard when you get in a car wreck, like you don't think you're hurt because your adrenaline's working right. But like two days later, that's when all the aches and pains come in. Is that the case with you or no? You and your son. I've heard Don. I've never been in a really bad one. I've been in a few. They were never really bad. You're built Ford tough? Is that what you were driving? That's a fat one. Fattest of the bunch. Ant Man. All right, here we go. Ace is the place for the helpful hardware folks. Lewis. That's right, you get these too. I forgot about those. Did you guys hear about, I saw an ant, a penny right there. Did you guys hear about the bank that's putting dropping pennies on the ground with their logo or name on the back of the penny? And people that find them can take them to the bank and get $1,000. Some sort of promotion. It's only in certain cities, though. Because, you know, most people don't pick up the pennies. You just leave them on the ground, but that penny could be worth a thousand dollars. Hope Van Dyne and Scott Lang. That's a true story, Vanessa. Google it. 
Scott Ling, Hope Van Dyne. Dual relic. Well, I guess your autograph's in here, right? What, you don't get an autograph per? Two memorabilia cards and one autograph or one artist sketch card per box. That's a pretty cool memorabilia card. It's super fat. Let me uh, go back through this because we didn't get an artist. We may have got a sketch card and I just thought it was an insert, but nothing felt like a sketch card. I know we didn't get an autograph. You can fill a sketch. It feels like cardboard versus these feel like slick. Might have been shorted your sketch or your autograph. Unless one of these inserts has an autograph. I didn't think about that. You know how they hide them on the insert every now and again? No, you didn't get one, man. Unfortunately, that box was shorted an autograph or a sketch. You're supposed to get two relics, one autograph, and a sketch. So, I'll have to throw you in an empty wrapper and a barcode. You can show up upper deck the video. Um, I'll cut your barcode out, Ed. You could uh, just email them a link to the video. And they may require you to mail that uh, empty wrapper and that barcode in. And then they'll uh, send you an autograph or a sketch card. This whole case has fat relics, which I'm pretty sure are short prints, right? You don't get a fat one per. How much you weigh, Don? How tall are you, Irish? I weigh 155, Irish. Last night I actually weighed 154.6 on a digital scale. Then again, I ate bad the last two days. I probably put on a couple pounds. Yeah, 4'3". <laughs> You're considered obese. 155, but you're only 4'3"? You're obese. There's a double relic. Ant-Man. Feels like rubber. Probably that part on that part of the suit. There it is. That's why I was wondering in the first one if I missed the autograph. That's a dual autograph. Phil Hester and Russ Wooten. But I went back through and I didn't see anything unless it was a super hidden autograph. 
where it didn't stand out. Here's your fat one. Well, just a double relic. Uh, Hope Van Dyne and Dave. Okay. That's it. Recap it. We have Hope Van. These are the fat one. Uh, Hope Van Dyne and Dave. Autograph. Dual autograph. Ant Man double rubber relic. Ant Man double crystal relic. That's the fat version. And then Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne again. And that is it. Thanks again there, Ed Ram. We'll get it out, buddy.